welcome to the Life's Necessities and Luxuries radio show. Today, our host, Dawn Marie Nutel, your life's commodities broker, will bring you fashion, beauty tips, business acumen, teach you where to find the life's greatest necessities and the finest luxuries. Now, here's Dawn Marie. Hey, it's Dawn Marie Nutel. Welcome back to another episode of Life's Necessities and Luxuries. I'm going to cover a quick topic today as I'm sitting at the pool, working poolside, and it's about your power. You know, we all have this sense of power, and I don't mean magical, mystical power. I just mean power to your being. I found that I was always very independent, and I never really gave away my power until one time when I walked up was with my ex-fiance of 10 years, I pretty much gave my power away. And what I mean by that is that I basically let go of my life. I stopped seeing my family, stopped seeing my friends. It was always, always concerned about him and his problems. He was going through a very nasty three-year divorce and his divorce lawyers had me pulled into it and had me doing a lot of um, detailed work for them and so many different things. And it was just overwhelming. It made me ill, it made me exhausted, I was totally drained of any kind of energy, I just felt horrible. And we wind up breaking up, and it was one of those things where I thought, you know, he was going to be the one, and we were going to like live happily ever after, and all that kind of stuff. So that's why I think I did all of the things that I did for him. I didn't expect anything in return, but I didn't expect to be hurt by him the way I was. And it just really, it really reiterated the feeling that I always had as a kid growing up of saying that, you know, you've got to maintain your power. It doesn't necessarily have to be the power that you give to a significant other. It could be as simple as the power that you give to your children. It doesn't necessarily have to be that you're giving away your power to your significant other, boyfriend, fiance, husband, wife, but it could be that you're giving away your power to your children, meaning that you're devoting all of your time and energy to them rather than putting any time and energy into yourself. And I don't mean being selfish by any means. I just mean taking care of yourself so that you are still doing things that you love to do, whether it's you're going out to see your friends on an occasion or you're going to work out every day where you take the hour for yourself to just handle these things because they are so important to, you know what they say, if, if you can't love yourself, you can't love anyone else. But giving the power away is like, it's so crippling because eventually they're going to move on with their lives and what have you. And then what's going to happen is that you're stuck, you know, you're left high and dry. So what can you do today to reclaim your power? Maybe it's just that you're going to start putting things on your calendar and get stuff going for yourself. Maybe you treat yourself to a little massage or a manicure, pedicure, or you just meet your friends after work and have a couple of drinks and a light dinner with them. But get on the phone with your loved ones and try to find a couple of ways that you can just de-stress and take some time for yourself and start reclaiming your power. Because without your power, you're basically stuck with nothing. I know I will never do that again. And it's really hard because we get put into these situations and then things become habit, right? So you start doing something once, you do it twice, the next thing you know it, you're doing it all the time. And you got to be really careful because with the relationships, especially in the beginning, when you start doing something for them, they just consistently think that you're going to just keep doing it. And that's not necessarily going to be the case. So you may want to put those boundaries up now so that you can handle it. And they may not like it so much, but you'll be ready to move on and do what you have to do do to maintain that balance. Well, that's it for today. So I just want you to get your power back if you've given it away. And even if you haven't, be sure that you keep your guards up and your boundaries there so that you know that you will never fall into that ugly, ugly trap. All right. Well, thank you so much. If you like this episode, please share it and be sure to stop at www.lifesnecessitiesandluxuries.com and sign up for the ultimate travel guide. And also when you sign up there, I have some new things that are coming down the pike that are going to be launching soon, so I want you to be the first ones to know about it. I have a new book coming out and a couple of online courses, so I really would love it if you sign up there and then I can stay in touch with you and you won't miss any episodes in the future. If you like this episode, please subscribe and tell your friends about it. This is an ad-free podcast and I really appreciate any kind of love that you can offer. So remember to live peacefully, happily, lovingly, successfully, necessarily, and luxuriously. Until the next time, namaste. 
If you like what you hear, tell someone. If you like what you hear, be a dear and pass it on. Don't forget to stop at our website www.lifesnecessitiesandluxuries.com for more tips, tricks, tutorials to live a very necessary and luxurious life.